Joseph Ayodele Aribo is still dominating discussions right here in Nigeria after a uh, Super Eagles coach Ose Peso released a 25-man list that he will use to prosecute the friendly against Algeria. And uh, of course, Aribo was uh, conspicuously missing in that list. So a lot of people have been asking why. And uh, we hope that in the coming days, uh, Ose Pesero himself uh, will answer that question. And of course, we'll be talking about the Nigerian uh, team on the continent. They did very, very well. Of course, uh, three of them now out of four, uh, they've scaled to the next round of uh, inter-club competition in Africa, except for Remo Stars, uh, who failed despite um, the huge expectation on them. And of course, in Ghana, Ah, it's a surprise that uh, Ashante Kotoko failed to qualify uh, to the next round of the CAF Champions League. No one saw that coming, and I'm sure you two didn't. So these are many more we'll be looking at on the show today. Welcome to the Niger Superfans Forum, your number one sport uh, fo football show in Africa. My name is Olu Afemi Ashalu, and as usual, uh, James Agberebi is uh, very much in the studio. Uh, football is back in England, so uh, James is back now. He's no longer under uh, the weather. And Kyle Dogundari joins us via video. Uh, but I'll start with uh, Kyle De. Kyle De, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Femi. It's always a pleasure to be here. Oh, all right, let, let me come to James now. James, yeah, you me. are no, no longer under the uh, weather. Thank God, I'm, I'm, I'm fully fit now. You're fully fit, yes. You're ready for the World Cup. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's get the show started. And of course, our fans, let me give, begin once again by saying thank you very much for uh, staying through with us. Thank you for your comments. We read all of them and uh, very interesting ones. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, from all over the world, Japan, USA, even Ghana right here, United Kingdom, Australia, everywhere. We say thank you very much. Uh, James, um, that list, when I saw that list, uh, I think it took me a while before I realized that Joseph Aribo was not on that list because uh, it, 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 it's a no-brainer that Aribu's name would not even be on that list. And I don't know, a lot of people are saying maybe because of Rafa Adike who is coming uh, into the setting. And that is why Pacero decided not to invite uh, Aribu, who is doing fantastically well uh, for Saddam thing. Well, for me, you know, um, even me too, when I saw the list, I didn't, uh, I didn't take note that... Aribu wasn't there. Yeah, I didn't take note. I would just focus on the guys that made the return, like uh, Wilfred Ndidi, yeah. uh, Chidera Ejuke, Ejuke, and um, uh, Maduka Okoye, Okoye, you know, so that was the people that I really focused on, but I didn't take note that uh, Aribu, Aribu was missing. But, you know, this is just a friendly game, so, you know, and the thing about friendly is you give you the opportunity to, to try out new players, you know, and uh, we have uh, uh, Rafael Onyedika, mm -hmm. who moved from uh, Michelin to Club Brugge mm -hmm. and, you know, he has been a regular. So mm -hmm. he has been playing, he's even playing in the Champions League yeah. too, you know, so he has been doing well. So it's a good thing that he got this invitation. We've seen um, uh, Aribo in the Super League, we know what he can do. So let's see other players. Who knows, maybe this will be the new discovery for the Super League that we not have to rely solely, always uh, rely on the, um, uh, Aribo. Mm -hmm. You know, so for me, um, it's uh, the list that's made up of uh, the notable names. Uh, the Ahmed Musa, the Leon Balogun, the uh, William Twister Kong, uh, Kelechi Nacho, and, the, you know, so for me, I think the coach should have gone further to, you know, even invite some, there are some guys, one, um, Yusuf. Yusuf too is doing well. Then there's, um, what is his name? I can't remember this other guys. So I think we would have added some other new guys. You know, let's see other players. We've seen a lot of these guys. Fine, we know what they can do. So I think we have to start seeing new new faces because this is just a friendly, not if you are preparing for the World Cup. No thanks to the Black Stars, you know. So it's a good thing that we are playing a, a good friendly game. Uh, maybe in the next friendly game that we are going to play against Portugal, maybe we'll still see some of these other guys who are doing well. So for me, um, it's, it's a decent list, but um, I feel he should have added more guys who have not, you know, fresh legs. Fresh legs, at least. Like I said, it's a friendly game. Let's see a lot of these guys, you know, so from there we know that there are other players who can fit into the team. Okay. Uh, Kyle, I don't know whether you agree with James, but particularly uh, I, I don't think I am because uh, if you look at uh, the season so far, William Trustekong has barely played ball, uh, played a game for um, Watford. He's got seven minutes in, the, I think, the second game of the season until this last weekend when he got a 90 minutes out of in 10 matches for Watford and he's back in the team. Also look at Ahmed Musa. Ahmed Musa has not had a very good season, but he's back in this, in this team. Then leaving out someone like uh, Ayodele Aribo, we know it is a friendly, but in a friendly also, it also can because you are, you are playing, let's say, a grade A team in Africa. And all these things, we know how much it counts when it comes to FIFA uh, rating. But I don't know, do you agree? Yeah, absolutely, I agree with James. Uh, 
games. It is a friendly, and by the, by their nature, friendly, friendly games are supposed to test players where you think you're lacking. I think Ayodele Aribo has proved time and again that he, he has what it takes to, to, to play at the highest level for Nigeria. He has done excellently well every time he has played. But I can't recall the last time he had it. He had a bad game for Nigeria. So if the coach is in their wisdom decide to rest him, I bow to their decision. Femi, like I always say, in matters like this, the coaches' decisions are final. They are paid to think. I do not want to think for them. They have decided for this game, <laughs> Aribo should rest. Let Aribo rest. When the time comes, in subsequent games, if we don't see Aribo, then we can start asking questions. Especially since he's not injured. But in this case, if they, have, if they decided for whatever reason, probably they have seen enough in him to know that oh, this is a, this, this, this guy has X Y Z qualities that we want. So let's let him. Let's look at other players. That yeah. should be it. I don't want to think for them. I don't want to do their job when they will be the ones to get paid. So <laughs> <laughs> let them be happy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, l let's go to uh, club competition now. Kyle, the inter club competition. Um, I don't know whether you saw uh, Remo Stars crashing out of uh, uh, the, the the Calf Confederations Cup because they played the one or uh, away from home against a very tough uh, opposition in Afsa. And coming back home, of course, uh, they lost one nil, and uh, we saw a lot of uh, news on the internet about Afsa wasting time or the or the tactics that is common with uh, uh, North African teams. But let's look at, uh, generally, the performance of Nigerian teams uh, uh, in, in the CAF, Conf CAF Confederation Cup and, of course, CAF uh, Champions League. Of course, we know that Rivers United, Plateau United, and, of course, our own Quara United, because you, you've mocked us before. Of course, we are all through to the next round now. Coyote. Um, without, without doubt, uh, Rebels has had the most difficult uh, opponents out of the four Nigerian teams mm. going into into the into the preliminary run mm. and I think ultimately their lack of experience at that level showed mm. at the last minute when they succumbed to the territory, to the drama and threat of the North Africans. You and I both know what the South, uh, North African teams are capable of doing. And don't forget that the last time we were here, Femi, I was telling you, I was making comparisons with these Remo Stars and MFM of Lagos, who went away in their first game in 2016 or thereabout to draw a Mali. And they got to man, got, they just escaped by the skin of their teeth. That thing happened. You remember that incident when I yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. And I told the Remo Stars to be very, very careful. The fact that you played one one away means the that the Moroccans are capable of also scoring here. And once they score, they would lock the shop and throw the key away. That was what they did. Those who are complaining that they wasted time, it is still part of football. It is you can you win by fair or foul means as long as it is within the legal the, the, the legal allowances in, in football. The North Africans have shown that they have vastly much more experience than the Remo, than, than Remo stars, and they showed it when it matters most. So instead of talking about that. Let's look at the brighter side of things. Remos has uh, they've experienced what it is to play on the continent now. We hope I am proud of what they have been able to achieve. I am proud of what they, what I know they are capable of also going on to do. The season in Nigeria, whenever it starts, they will be ready. I hope they are back on the continent because I want more private sector involvement in our football. Mm. One, then two. If you get three out of three, out of four teams into the next round, for me, for me, it is good. But then this is where the hard work starts for the three remaining teams. Because now they are going to try to get into the group stages. And boy, the draws have not been favorable for mm. me. This is where we we'll know of course. who were helped to write their exams. Yes, this is where we know who we'll separate the boys from the from, from, from the, men. the men. I don't envy the, the remaining teams in the competition. Hmm. The Nigerian the, the remaining Nigerian teams in the competition, I do not envy them for me. Hmm. They have a big fight on their hands. Hmm. Kyle, you actually you took that out of my mouth, and, and I'll throw that question uh, to James. James, uh, Plateau United will be playing experience of Tunisia in the next round, and uh, Rivers United will be playing Wydad. The champions. The champions, the oldest. Then, Kora United will be playing Ares Bekani of Morocco. 
the uh, confederation Cup winners. winners. <laughs> James, like how they say, <laughs> I think this time if you are if you are a prayer warrior, you need to pray. If you support Nigerian football, particularly the club of football, you need to pray. James, it is it is not funny. Like yeah. how they said, yeah. the just ties like, are not friendly. Like, and I think it's it's because <clears throat> of how poorly Nigerian teams have performed over time. That is why they got very tough opposition at this time. Yeah, like I said in our previous uh, edition, you know, when you are not doing well on the continent, at the time we come when even apart from when they will remove they will, take, uh, they will reduce your, the number of teams. You know, these are the kind of um, uh, fixtures you get. Mm. You know? So um, the way it is now, it's, uh, that's like what uh, Kyle said. I don't, I don't envy them. Because from the first round, we knew that, okay, they had a chance of you know, progressing. But it's from the second round that it gets tough. And I mean, it, it's, I mean, it, it, will I say calf didn't do it? Was not, was not fair <laughs> for the Nigerian teams. But, you know, it's, the draws have been made. They know their opponents now. So it's not left for them to, you know, go back to the drawing board. Uh, look at how they fared in the, in the previous round. And um, because they know that uh, it's, it's a different, it's, it's it's a a different, different ball game. game it's entirely. a different ball game now. And uh, the thing is, the three remaining teams, the three Nigerian teams remaining, they, they've been on the continent before. I think they have an idea of how these North Africans go about their, mm. you know. And I think they, they are all playing first, the first leg we play, we played at home, if I'm not mistaken, here in Nigeria before they. So if they can get a decent result. I remember in uh, 2009 when Kano Pillars, they, 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 they eliminated uh, Al Ali. They drew 0 0 here in Nigeria and they went away to, to hold Al Ali to a 2 2 draw. They were even leading 2 0. That's the uh, Kano Pillars. Yes. Al Ali fought back 2 2 and they were able to hold out. You know, it was a shock. Nobody expected them. So maybe they can borrow a leave from. You mean relegated Kano Pillars now? I mean, I'm talking <laughs> of Kano Pillars in 2009. So if they can uh, get borrow a leave from there, I and mean, football, not, uh, nothing is impossible. Yeah, they can yeah. do it. But, you know, just, we are just trying to be realistic because we know the North African, they, it's as if they own this competition, the Champions League, the Competition the, the Cup, the, even the Super, everything, they own, they own it. So for you to, 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 go, to overcome them, you have to be extra, extra, very good, mm -hmm. you know. So I wish them all the best. And uh, the die is cast. Uh, let's just hope that um, they surprise us. Mm -hmm. Well, realistically, I, if I'm to be fair and in my analysis, I, it, I think it's only one team <laughs> out of it's the three that. that will progress. Honestly, I can't. I, I don't. I, I don't see the three of them progressing. Kyle, and I know you've made prophecies on this show before. I think this is time for you to do another one, <laughs> and you should try to. You, I, I think you should try to make it in favor of at, at least Nigerian team this time. You, you, I know you can change this thing because <laughs> prophecies are not for every, uh, ordinary people. Kyle, reverse United against Esperance. Uh, Rivers United against Wydad. Then we have uh, Quara United, uh, you know, and uh, R.S. Bekani, who came to Nigeria uh, to win the CAF Confederations Cup. Kyle, hmm, I don't know. The, the, the clouds are very, very dark. You, the, you can't even see the crest. Uh, that, that is where you are starting the prophecies from, Kyle. The clouds are very dark. <laughs> the clouds are very, very dark. Let me, these other teams have perfected what it takes to play on the continent. Mm. They have done well to help the reputation for which we are scared of them now, for me. It would take much more than a team that is ill prepared, more than a team that has not really played any competition so far to stop them. Fine, like them say, the miracles still exist in football, but we can't leave anything to chance. The way you expect miracles, they also work for their own miracles too. If you do not work, do not expect anything to fall on your laps. Mm. So for me, I'm not going to venture uh, anything. Honestly, I do not see any of those teams go through, any of the Nigerian teams go through. Does that mean they cannot go through? No. But I just don't see it happening. Mm. But all the same, I wish them all the best. Mm. I wish them all the best. Okay, so um, Fidelis Lejuku of Plateau United and Stanley Oguma of Rivers United. This is the time to actually bring your experience that you've gathered over time. This is the time to bring them to bed. Okay, let's come to uh, this case of um, uh, Okonkwo Oji. James, it's very sad. Yeah. Somebody sent me a text message and said, uh, did this guy keep pressing? That mm -hmm. why would FIFA impose a four-year ban on someone just for doping issues? He was suspended in, uh, in Italy. Yeah. And he's, he plays for Bologna in Italy. He's 24. He said by the time the guy returns, he'll be 28, right? Yeah. And at that time, Four years from all football-related issues for doping, and four years, James. I don't know. What do you think? Um, it's very sad. The former um, Golden Neglect star. 
Yeah, uh, it's very, very sad. When you expect him to, he, he, this, he, this is peak as a footballer. That he's not going to waste four years doing nothing. And even if he comes back, I, will he be able to, to, to get it in? To, to get it, a, a team that will. I remember what happened to the former England international, uh, Adams, or what's his name? The guy that used to play for Manchester, Manchester City. Johnson. Adam Johnson. Johnson. Remember the, the case he had with the underage? He came out of prison and it was never the same again for him. You know? yeah. So as a footballer, once you go off, once you want to go for that, that, that break. But that I remember, break, sorry, Rio Ferdinand committed the same thing. I think he, he had only nine, he nine only months to he one only year. Missed, he, he only missed, missed the, the test. Euros. He only missed the Euros. You know, I think he missed the test. He didn't and go if, for, uh, I think uh, it, was, it was confirmed that maybe he took a, a ban. Yeah, something and like that. And he was given nine months or a year ban. Yeah, but was, was, his own is even still compared to uh, uh, Okonkwo's own. Four years. It's a, it's a that's very, what I'm saying. A young player. That's why the person said, did this guy keep pressing? No, the, the laws are there. You remember what happened to the, the late uh, uh, legend, Diego Maradona, when he, he had some, uh, something similar. So, all these things, everything has been put, everything is there, black and white. You know, once you go against this rule, you are going to be punished for this. He said he, he took it to, 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 to heal something, I think an injury or something. I mean, there are doctors there. You don't just... You, you, know, you don't, go, you on don't just go on self-medication. Self -medication. Self -medication. Exactly when you're an athlete. Exactly, because you, you have doctors there, qualified doctors who, who, who are aware of all this. They know the drugs who are, they are, uh, they are under ban. Mm -hmm. But you don't just go ahead and feel, uh, this one, uh, I can take this I one. I remember Colotori also had similar thing. See, when, yeah, when he, he, he took his eating. wife's um, the cream or something. something. And the, the, the cream contained, contained, contained the, the bath you know, So all these things, I think it's, for me, I think the carelessness of the player. I don't know whether it's saying the truth that he took something. You are not a doctor. You don't know all this things you don't you don't just self-medicate that's why you have medical qualified doctors who run these things who, who know about these things i mean you have you know meet one of the doctors that this and this uh, this is what i'm going through is this thing okay to you you don't just take decision you know? i think he has to 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 blame himself for this four years is just too much but the laws are there if you go against it fifa will come hard on you and that's the, the penalty you have to face hmm. Coyote. Very briefly, before we go on a break, you know, I remember ex-international Taribo West, uh, he, he talked about some conspiracies that uh, uh, happened in the Syria against uh, uh, black players, especially if you're doing well. Um, and I think I remember in that interview on the radio station in Nigeria, he gave instances of uh, what happened to him when he had some issues with uh, Madini, and he, he said, someone called him and said, you are benching a legend, Italian legend. If you are not careful, they will say you have a heart-related problem and you can no longer play in the Syria. But Kyle, they, this case is more like uh, Africans uh, not being naive about uh, uh, protocols, like James said. But this uh, guy, uh, Okonkwo, four years, Kyle, they, it's, it's like, again, Africans bringing to bear the fact that uh, they take a lot, we take a lot of things for granted, really. Uh, me, uh, let me quickly say that I think the player has to take the bulk of the, of the player. Because, like, if you're a professional, you should be very, very careful what you ingest, whether uh, it is of the order of a doctor or not. I will give you a, a very related experience. Two years back, one Super Eagles player who was on holidays in Nigeria, we were hanging out, and I offered him some. Uh, some I offered him something to, to drink, and he was like, ah, no, cross. I'm going back to my club in the next few days. Mm. The first thing they would do is a drug test. This could contain substances that are on the banned list. I don't want to take it. Mm. That is somebody who is self-discipline, who is a professional. So that's the first thing. The second one is four years is like a lifetime for me. Mm. If this is a first time offense, it shouldn't have gotten four years. But what kind of defense did they put up? Because if you do not defend yourself, it, it is assumed that you are guilty. The Rio Ferdinand case that you brought, or you recalled, Rio Ferdinand was not formally charged for drug use. He was charged for missing the drug test. scheduled drug test. That's the difference. Mm. That's why he got nine months. This, according to this, the story we heard about Gongo, that all protocols we have followed in his in the investigations and the and the and the leveling of the charges against him. If you have a manager, you have a coach, you have a body, you, you are caught in this kind of situation.
nation. Premier, it speaks to the recklessness of our players. We should not sugarcoat this because he's African or because he's Nigerian. We should, as a professional, you should take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself does not mean going to the training alone. It means you have to watch what you eat, watch what you think, make sure what the kind of company you keep, Femi. Those are very, very key. Yeah. That's part of why you are paid the kind of monies uh, sports people are paid. You have to take care of yourself. Get people who can take care of you. Pay people to take care of you because the only thing you have is your career. And that's what has been taken away from this young man. And it's so, so unfortunate. I hope and pray that he has people around him who can take this to the court of administration and sports. See if the, if the four-year ban can, can be reduced. reduced. And like James also said, the problem is that of a damaged reputation. Now, even if he comes back, he has a load on, a, on, a, on his head. Who wants to hire a player who, has, who, who is an ex-convict, who has, who, who has a drug problem? Because that's what everybody will look at now. Nobody wants to see the circumstances. All they know is he was banned for treatment, banned so, uh, substances, and that will uh, definitely impact. It's too, it's too young to, 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 to be out of the game. I think there's no way you can be out of football for four years and you come back. Even if you are messy, the world would have left you behind. Mm. It's so, so unfortunate. I pray he gets to use his other talents in order to make a way for himself. In life. But from football, I do not think it's possible for him again. Hmm. Carl, it's, yeah, it's very unfortunate. But when you said use other talent, like going into business, I do, I really do not understand. But yeah. <laughs> you, go, you go say in football, go into business, do uh, other things. There are other things you can do with that uh, outside playing the game. But then, if it's going to be in football, he has to wait until the expiration of that ban. Hmm. Because when they say when they say you are banned from all football related activities, that means you cannot. Be a player, you cannot be an administrator, you cannot be a coach, you cannot be an agent. Hmm. So that is that's why the and the plan has been affected globally. Not only so you cannot leave one league to go to another one. Hmm. That's the that's the that's the problem with having a, a, your ban uh, made global by, by FIFA. So hmm. it's so so unfortunate for the young man. Hmm. Very, very unfortunate. Well, if Oji uh, Konko has not uh, appealed, I think we wish him all the best as maybe he has plans to go to the Court of, Arbit court of Arbitration for Sport. Go to the Court of Arbitration for Sport and see if the, if the, if the four-year ban can be reduced. Hmm. Because that's the only hope he has now hmm. to, re to get it reduced. That's hmm. just the only hope. Hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you, Kyle. Please still stay with us. We'll quickly go on the break now. We'll return to, to go to Ghana. And in Ghana, like I said earlier, Ashanti Kotoko, very unfortunate that they've crashed out of uh, uh, the CAF Champions League. And of course, we're talking about the Ghana Premier League. Interesting result over the weekend. And one man, Dr. Obin, a former uh, GFA executive uh, committee member, is saying that he had a dream and that what? That the Black Stars won the 2025 World Cup. You know, a lot of people have been talking about Ghana winning this 2025 World Cup. Maybe at the end of the day, it might come true. We'll quickly go on a break. We'll be back to talk about all of this. Please stay with us. Welcome back, and it's still Nigeria Super Fans Forum. Of course, it is your show, the best football show in Africa. Don't forget, wherever you are reaching us from, please leave a, 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 a comment in the comment section, and please indicate where you are reaching us from. And to all of you, we say thank you. We cannot thank you enough. And uh, uh, James, I'll start with you. The second week of uh, the 2022 the Ghana Premier League season, very uh, fantastic, interesting result. And unfortunately, I would like her particularly to... Uh, uh, react to his team, RTU. I don't know what is happening. Out mm -hmm. of um, six points, they have only one point. But quickly, I'll give you uh, the result for uh, week 22. Ashanti Kotoko, of course, they couldn't play because of uh, their club engagement. Uh, out of folk, of course, at home, they had to come back uh, from. Uh, I, I think I saw that particular game. One no, uh, hosting Great Olympics. We have a Medema 3, uh, Red Tamale United 2. That is Kyle Day's team. And uh, Tamale City 0, uh, Legon City 1. Uh, Beckham United, of course, that game was postponed. Like I said, they were supposed to take on Ashanti Kotoko. And uh, Unsua Treman, I hope I got that correctly, uh, they defeated uh, Biabiani Gold Stars 1-0 at home. Then Dreams, of course, they defeated uh, Kotoku Royals 1-0. And Accra Lions 2, Karela United 1. So I, I particularly highlighted this. RTU, uh, Red Tamale United, Kyle Day's team, I'm saying it again. They have only one point from two matches. And out of folk, of course, they also have one point. Kyle Day, let me start with you before I come to James. Kyle what's going on? Rera Tamale United. One point out of six points, Kyle Day. We know you say it's still, it's still early days, but... In a 20-man league, where you have 30-something, more than 30 games 
to play. I wonder why you are afraid enough just to. I, I know. I, I was. I was. I was expect. I was actually expecting this kind of day. No, we we are building up gradually. But if it is Kuala United, I know. I know how you will attack me. You are making it look like having one point from six points, which is just two games, as if it is the end of the world. But it's four. It is four point it's loss already. In full force. It is four we point loss already. We are doing it gradually. Gradually, we are building up, and we will learn from our mistakes and make sure that at the end of the day, people like you will be shamed, will be ashamed because we are going to leave the time. Yeah. <laughs> what's going to happen? This is the season of Tamale, and uh, in case you've forgotten, we have another team coming from Tamale now. That means there are two teams. From yeah, Tamale, Tamale City. Mm. It's been a long, long time. You, you see everything like that. It will be, it will be much more bloodier than the than the Accra derby. Wow. And every other derby you've seen. Yes, just wait and I think that game is going to be in the fourth week or thereabout. I think that's where we start to launch our season. Hmm. We are not in a year. <laughs> I hope our, 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 our viewers are hearing this so, <laughs> so that when I when I come again with another attack. <laughs> Hmm. Just one point out of two out of two games is nothing to fret about. Don't worry, just keep your fingers crossed like this and watch us come. Hmm. Okay. All right, okay. Uh, James, yeah. out of hope, they've not started the season very well. They were playing at home against a great Olympics. Hmm. And you expect that uh, at least for losing after losing their first first game of the of the of the week two weeks ago they're going to do something but again they have to come from behind against great olympics not even a very very uh, strong team like uh, webby kotoko <coughs> or uh, uh, beckham united uh, well the league is uh, is a marathon it's not a sprint it's not a 100 100 meter sprint uh, the, when, when the chips are down when the you know when the, as we used to say it here, when jungle mature, <laughs> <laughs> you now start to separate the boys. So it's still early days. But yeah. Asuna, they say when jungle mature, Asuna, Asuna, no, they are, no, they are remember, still on top no, of the table. No, remember the last 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 season, Asuna lost their first three games. They didn't even score. By the end of the day, they, they finished well, it's a fifth. You know, so all these big teams, they know how to bounce back. This is just a blip. You know, so by the time they, we get to the um, week three, four, five, uh, from there, you start to see. Uh, the big boys, they separated from the from the small from the small boys. You mm. know, so I, I believe out of they have they are, they are just too experienced not to to pick up later in the and as the as the season uh, progresses. So for me, uh, like I you know in the, in the opening week we all, we are all seeing one zero, you know zero zero one one. But now you know the goals are are, are coming, coming in now. So in, in their first game they didn't get any point. Now they, 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 there's a point on the board for out of folk now. But drawing at home, no, it doesn't matter. A point is there already now. So they will, <laughs> I believe they will build on it. So as the season progresses, we will see the best of acts of uh, acts of folk. I, I would particularly be looking for a new winner in the Ghana Premier League this season so that I can collect that three hundred thousand. Uh, CDs that have been put on the table uh, by Bet Power. Remember, Bet Power is behind the sponsorship for the Ghana Premier League. Okay, let's talk about the 2022 FIFA World Cup. You know, like we said, we've con we will continue the build up um, as the competition progresses. Don't forget, it's going to kick off uh, on November uh, 20. And on this show, something big will be coming, I tell you, uh, for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. So we're announcing it now. Something big will be coming. So, in the fullness of time, we'll be unveiling uh, what it is. Uh, uh, Maybe I should start with uh, Kyle Day because you know, you've been familiar with Dr. Obin for a while on this show. Uh, he's a former uh, member of the executive, the executive member of the Ghana Football Association. And he's saying like Mohamed Dali, oh, sorry, um, uh, what is it, Reverend Martin Luther King. He said, I had a dream. And his dream is that Ghana won the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It is not impossible. It might be difficult, but it's not impossible. So I quickly quote him. He said, I dreamt we were presenting the World Cup trophy back home in Ghana. I say this with conviction that we would win. In 2006, no one gave the Black Stars a, chance, a, a dog chance, but we beat the number one in the World Cup, which was Czech Republic, and reached the round of 16. And in 2010, we were almost going to win until the unfortunate thing happened. Coyote. Do you agree with this? Dreams come true. I know Joseph had one and it came true. I mean, it's not, it's not getting funny any, any longer, honestly. I think by now we should get more serious. We, World, Cups are not, World, World Cups are not one on the back of dreams alone. They are one on the pitch. A whole lot of people can 
they can afford to dream, especially if you have got if you have ate uh, a good meal, you can you can fall asleep and dream as much as you want. The teams that win, win, win on the pitch. Yeah, they win on the pitch. Like seriously, talks like this gets me really, really uh, 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 unsettled because what you're trying to do is put on due pressure on the team. You are putting on due pressure on the team. What you should do is ensure in your only two way that the team gets maximum preparation. Mm. Let once they prepare well, then whatever they get, you can now measure that is it commensurate with what, with what we have put in into preparation. And like I've said for me, I've said this since the day the blacks has qualified for the World Cup. I said a good World Cup for me would be where the Mardi twenty ten fit. have a dream i'm sure you you said that you had a dream i don't know whether it it came uh, to pass or not uh, but uh, dr uh, obini is saying that um he dreamt that ghana won the 2022 fifa world cup i i think our day is just um you know i, I don't know i i, I will go with Karadi. Realist, go. I, will, I will go with Karadi. we have to be realistic and be serious you know you don't just start putting undue pressure on the players. So you're also biting that, Yes. Right? I mean, um, what the team needs now is full concentration, good preparation, good friendly games where the coach will, you know, pick the best players to cause a lot. No, but is it wrong to say, to say that? No, there's not, no, no, that is an opinion. And that's why I said when you qualify for the World Cup, a lot of people say a lot of things, you know, because the, the excitement, you know, based, going into the game against Nigeria, nobody gave Ghana a chance and they got the World Cup ticket. So good for them. But now coming out to see... Uh, you win the World Cup. I mean, come on. This is the World Cup you're talking about. You check out the teams that have won the World Cup in the past. It's, it's like a pattern. You always know that this team, because they, they, all the big teams who won in the past, you remember in 94, Brazil won it. 98, they got to the final. 2002, they won it. You know, so that, you see that, that consistent um, uh, run. France won it in 1998. In the 2002 World Cup, they, they did very badly. They came back. They won it. In two, and they, they got to the final in 2006. You know, so the, the, the German team that won it in 2010, they started building in 2006. So you always see that progression. That not that you just come out of the blues and say you, you, you win the World Cup. No, the World Cup is, is, not, is not just any tournament. The major tournament, the number one uh, sport uh, tournament in the world. So um, for me, I just, uh, the, the, this, uh, the, the minister should not start putting pressure on the player. All they need now is full concentration. He's actually a former focus. member of the, a former ESCO member of the GFA. Uh, he's just been excited that <laughs> Ghana qualified for the World Cup. All he needs now is just encourage <laughs> the team. Like I said, good preparation, friendly games, let uh, encourage the coach to pick the best player who are going to uh, you know, represent not just only Ghana and uh, Africa because if African teams do well at the World Cup, I mean it rubs off positively on other teams. So um I mean, the, the, he should just keep his dreams to himself and let it end there. Mm. Okay. Uh, James, please stay with, with you. Um, did you see Kotoko losing that, uh, the second leg of that game against uh, uh, Kadiogo or Burkina Faso? You won the first leg away. The, the next thing is for you to come home and consolidate. consolidate. Yeah. And if perhaps you even play new new, but they, they lost one year at Babayara Stadium. And eventually, they said the penalty course continued uh, for Kotoko as they lost one three on penalty. And they said the, the players, I saw some of those kids, they are 
we would. <laughs> in a very critical game like that, but it, it was, I think for me, it's the shock of the weekend. Not even that uh, uh, Rebel Stars are got knocked out of the competition, but for Kotoko, because, you know, a lot a lot have been invested, you know, the, the preparation, uh, you know, even the GFA, the GFA, yeah, the Premier League organizers in Ghana, they gave them concessions yeah. so to allow them to prepare, you know, they even delayed the, what's supposed to be the Super Cup so that they can prepare, but... Eventually, I mean, so, so unfortunate. Um, after doing the hard, the, 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 the hardest part, going away, because it's not easy to travel away in African football and get a result. And you know, um, I mean, they didn't. I don't know what really happened. Um, I expected them to finish up the job in the, town, in the reverse fixture. Unfortunately, the the result they they, they gave uh, the opponent that they they, they 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 now we are the one uh, they receiving India and went to penalties. I mean, uh, this is the same Ashanti Kotoko that went to play. Uh, is it Al Ali or Ali Lal of um, uh, what is it called um, the Libyan or team Sudan. when they, 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 they lost you know the two friendly games? Mm -hmm. I believe we, we felt we came here and said it's a good preparation yeah, for yeah, them yeah, going yeah. onto the continent mm -hmm. and for them to now I mean it's, it's so unfortunate. I didn't I didn't expect the result. I expected them to come home, consolidate, and you know go through to the next round. And now this opportunity has been uh, filtered away. Um, they all just have to pick themselves up now and focus on the league because that's um, another. I don't know if they, they, they losing in this stage whether they will now graduate to, let's say, drop down to the competition scope. I don't know I if think they're out. They're out. It is this next stage. Yeah, it is this next stage. The second round. To the, yeah, so okay. Out, so, right? they're completely out of the control. So, out. Uh, as it is now, they all just have to focus on the league. And uh, hopefully they will, you know, do something uh, meaningful in the league and also the cup uh, game in Ghana. All right, Kaede, thank you very much for for staying with us, for connecting with us via uh, via video. We appreciate you so much. Thank you very much. And James Agreebi, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for and me. for your incisive analysis. Yeah, I really I, appreciate. I think I should I should say that James and our producer they came in. Uh, very happy into the studio today because, of course, party returned and they returned to Arsenal returned to winning ways. Remember that uh, they lose against Manchester United two days ago and they are back to winning ways now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying what, what, what I saw this morning. And to you, our fans, thank you for staying through with us. Uh, like we told you, we will continue to get our fingers crossed and bring you news as they turn out regarding the Black Star preparation for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Don't forget to hit that sub subscribe button. That bell, that bell, just click on it so that our videos can, you can get notification when our videos drop uh, rather than having to uh, wait for them. Thank you very much. We appreciate it for always being there uh, for us. My name remains Olu Afemi Ashalu. Until we come your way again next time, we say have fun. I'm by for now.